you're having only one rdp like the one you're seeing over here it's very easy to manage them and it's very easy but but let me say if you're having all these rdps and i always have more than this number and you need to manage them at once so all you need is when you need a software which can help you to do this thing very fast and this is what i'm gonna show you in this video welcome to scott UG. my name is scott The first thing you want to do is go to go to your open your browser and paste the link which i'll give you and you download this software onto your pc after you downloading you go to your preferred server provider okay i have a lot of servers like this one i want to manage all of them at once and the only way i can do it is by by opening this server this uh this software i can you come over here and select new group you create a new group let me say you name it after naming it you come over here you open the group and you import but if that one is very hard okay you open up this software you come over here you select add the server but you add server but let me say let me ask uh, let me create a situation when you're having a lot of servers like all oh, this one and it will be hard for you to just paste one by one server so all you need to do is to open up a text document you paste all the IPs of your server so long as you know you they have the same passwords even if they have the, uh, different passwords don't mind about that then you come over here remember you first create a group by this then you come to edit you say import servers then you browse you open the path or the file where the servers are after you importing after importing your servers this is what will happen then you come to this you click properties you come to logon credentials and you add the username and the password of your servers after that you come back to this and you click connect group So you can see that the servers will connect one by one by themselves without you again you have to paste the ips do this and this and this okay don't mind about that error it usually happens but uh, the server will connect there after now what you need to do if you need to manage this you just select one the one you want to manage is what you launch okay like that like that like that like that like that okay I hope you guys are getting what i'm trying to explain to you guys and if i told you've received if i told you've enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share it to your friends as well don't forget to share this video to all your friends that they can get to know all this with that i'm scott you meet in the video god bless